Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from the Grape Nut and Tree Fruit Expo at the Fresno Fairgrounds. This event features several speakers, including Brad Hansen of the UC Cooperative Extension, who spoke on weed control in vineyards and orchards. Annual bluegrass is one that we just identified last year. We've got some populations of uh, bluegrass uh, resistant to glyphosate. This, the populations that I'll show you are from the Merced area, but that's one to keep an eye on. So in my talk today, I mentioned some of the new pro some of the new weed issues that we're dealing with in orchard and vineyard crops. Mostly, the new problems tend to be related to glyphosate resistance. We're having issues with a few more grasses. Uh, in the past, we've had problems with mostly broadleaf weeds like the horseweed and, and fleabane. Uh, some of the newer ones have been uh, we reported last year on uh, annual bluegrass, poa annua, with resistance in some orchard crops. Uh, we've also got some of our summer grasses, mostly jungle rice. This is a barnyard grass relative um, that can be real problematic. It's a summer emerger, so it's difficult to control with our uh, pre-emergent materials and um, in many cases is resistant to the glyphosate herbicides. Good news on that front, most of those are still susceptible to uh, good pre-emergent programs and then also to the graminicides like fusillate, post, and, and uh, uh, select and those type of herbicides, we do have options. Uh, there's been a few new herbicides registered in the tree and vine system. Uh, the biggest news in the last year has mostly been related to uh, the generic glufosinate products. These are products that are similar to Rely 280. I think in the last two years we've had about five different manufacturers uh, register a product in California. So we should see the shortfall in that AI uh, lift over the next six or 12 months as those products are delivered to the state. Um, other new products we've had registered in the state, Zeus or Sulfentrazone has a registration in citrus, pistachios, walnuts, and grape. Uh, this has been a good material, uh, effective on some broad leaves, also has good suppression of yellow nut sedge, which I think will be really good in those crops in which it's labeled. So read the label there, it's not registered in all the tree crops. Uh, other, other new herbicides we've had, uh, Mission is a relatively new ALS inhibitor, kind of fits in the same part of the rotation as Matrix and it's got some good suppression of nuts hedge and also broadleaf weeds. And we've had a few important label changes that are affecting the tree and vine uh, market. Allion herbicide has a, uh, some major label changes in terms of crop age in which it can be used and then also an organic matter uh, stipulation in the label. So check on that before you use Allion. And <clears throat> I think that's, the, that's probably the biggest changes we've had. Oh, the last one I guess was the uh, VOC regulations related to Goal 2XL and similar oxiflorfin herbicides. We are going to not be able to use the same rates during the summer ozone season, so check with your PCAs on that before you use the high VOC formulations of oxiflorfin. Gain the full report of Brad's presentation in the coming issues of American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, and California Fresh Fruit Magazines. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.